we'll start the vlog. This is where we're going. Hi guys, welcome to the couple's vlog. This is Marcus. This is Savannah. This is traffic. Um, we're going on holiday and we're going to take you with us. Hope you enjoy, bye. We have arrived in Folkestone and it's so lovely so far. It's such a shame because it's really raining, but it looks nice, doesn't it, the hotel? There's a Marco Pierre White restaurant in there. I'll just turn you around. This is like the hotel. It's absolutely humongous. It goes all the way down. And then just where the, the hotel ends, the sea is just over there. There's like little, are they palm trees? What the heck? We've just got to check in in 20 minutes and see what there is to do in the rain are you excited yes yes he's very entertaining i promise i got my cute jack wills bag i i love it it's got flowers on the bathrooms are so so pretty where i just went i really wanted to film but then i thought if someone walks in on me that'll be really embarrassing let me show you the toilet order a packed lunch <laughs> Please order from reception. I love that. So in case we were going out for a picnic. We have arrived in our room. This is our room. It has a super king bed and we have a sea view. So this is where we are. The sea is very choppy right now. But this looks so lovely already. There's a really nice guide to um, Kent. And yeah, this is our little room. Oh, I haven't been in the toilet yet. Marcus is obviously looking at the room service menu. And, oh, this is cute. I bought <laughs> I bought bath oil just in case there was a nice bath. <laughs> this is so ancient. Ready? Ready to go out to the chambers. The chambers. Is it a pub or a bar? Pub. Both. Well, I'm looking forward to it. So it's a five minute walk away. Um, I probably won't vlog outside because it's super windy out there. I think it's like, what, a 30 degree wind? 30 degree wind, 30 miles 30... an hour. <laughs> 30, mile... <laughs> 30 mile an hour winds. So it will just be super windy and you probably wouldn't even be able to hear us if we were talking or anything, but um, maybe show you the pub if it's really nice. <laughs> I recorded that, but we're just about to get into the most ancient lift that ever existed. And uh, I really don't like it as soon as she's standing in it. Like, you did. Oh, oh god, this is very small. It's got carpeted walls. There are stains. <laughs> there are stains. And it goes up and it like pumps. Oh, okay, fair enough. Lord. We've had a few beverages, that's where we live, over there. How cute is this small paper, by the way? Ancient but chic. Um, so we went to... <laughs> You're doing this on YouTube, you have to be aware of this. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> Love that. It smells nice in here. So we just went for the loveliest lunch. We went to, it was a three o'clock lunch, so quite late. And um, what was that place called that we went? It was called... Which one? The pizza. Folly. Folly. So before we went to Folly, we went to the Chambers, which we told you about. And then we went to Folly. Yes, and Folly was a pizza place. And oh my God, the pizza was amazing. If you live in Folkestone or anywhere around Kent where you're near here, you have to try it. It's so good. Um, and not expensive either. We got two cocktails. And then after those, we were feeling a bit like... So on the way back, we stopped at a place called but it was the tits. Like it was so beautiful. Everything was copper. Everything was just done really, really well. And it was so nice. So 100% recommend that. We're back at the hotel room. We're just gonna chill for a couple of hours before we go for some dinner at quarter past seven. So I'm looking forward to that. Are you looking forward to it? Of course. I feel like when you've had a bit to drink, it's like food's either really good or you just don't fancy it at all, so. Was it the Bouverie tap? The Bouverie no, tap? No, no, wasn't it? Yeah. No, it, it was. Wasn't. No, it wasn't. Oh, it wasn't. What was it? Everything's within walking distance. So we only walked like five minutes away and we went to three different places, all of which were really lovely. 
the Radner Arms, the Radner Arms Old Breviary, and it's just gorgeous. It's apparently used to be really skanky, didn't it? We spoke to a guy who lives around here, and he said that he went there before and it was horrible and then they really turned it around and it's really really lovely and they've got loads of local gins and ales and beers and it was just beautiful in there so totally loved that um, and yeah really excited for dinner tonight at the fancy restaurant so hopefully it won't be too expensive and it will be really nice I'd like to go dancing really but I think Marcus would rather sleep sleep ciao it's Feeny 1901 dinner is at 1915 so we're gonna go downstairs what are you gonna have for dinner marcus what are you thinking menu wise you can have a starter main dessert or just i'm gonna have a horse dev we have just booked tickets to go to howlett's nature reserve let's have a look and see if we've got a confirmation email come on come on look at all these emails what is with that howlett's what was it supposed to be? <laughs> Is that lard? <laughs> Someone might come over and say you're not supposed to eat that bit. I'm not supposed to eat the lard? Yeah, and then I'll say, well, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> and I have French onion soup. With, I think that's Gruyere on the top. It looks delicious. And you've always wanted to try this? Yeah. Haven't you? It's in all the French cooking programmes. How's that? Is that nice? It tastes like duck. Did you get a duck hair? Or a beard hair? <laughs> what did you get? What are you doing? you got... What's in it? it? Smells really good. I sit this. Oh my god, this smells incredible. Whoa, I dropped it. <laughs> Triple cooked chip. Hello. Oh no. Have I had Lost soldier. They're not top pomfrites, baby. They're triple. Oh, no, I had pomfrites. Yeah, pommes frites is just chip, fried potato. Skinny ones. Yeah, that's what I mean, I've had them before. Yeah, these are triple cooked chips. I know. That's not pommes frites. I know. Oh, okay, I'm very but confused. But you said, do you want triple cooked chips or pommes frites? Uh huh, who did say that? Where I want the fucking pommes frites in. A skinny chip. These are amazing. Can you see how fluffy that chip is? Back in the room, and look at this beauty of a cheesecake. He was so full up at dinner that we really look at the depth on that cheesecake. Look at it. Is that not the deepest cheesecake you've ever seen in your life? You've got real butt problems. <laughs> now, if you don't know us, we are the windiest couple I think you, you could ever meet. And we're absolutely not shy about it. So, um... Yep, there's our cheesecake. This is the Super King bed. This is me. This is Marcus. And we'll see you in the morning where we have booked to go to a safari bar. Good morning. Honestly. <laughs> We've woken up, got ready, and now it's time to go down for breakfast. And then we're gonna go to the safari park. I can't remember what it's called now, but um, the weather is so much be more beautiful today. Um, you can actually see some hills over here. So behind like the town centre where we went yesterday for drinks and food, there's like really beautiful hills up there and the sun's out. You can really see it's coming through this morning. How nice is this? <gasps> Look at the sea. It looks so much better today, much less choppy. And the weather is just gorgeous, far, far fewer clouds. And I don't know if that's France, but I feel like France is right there. If you can see like there's little tiny ridges in the water back there i think that's france so how exciting we're gonna go down for breakfast hopefully have a nice time marcus is gonna have what you're gonna have i don't know oh, he's, he's gonna have a continental breakfast absolutely and he might also have cereal because sometimes he likes to have both and i'm probably gonna have cocoa pops and then 
see what else is on offer. Maybe some fruit or something. Set me up for the day nicely because I'm feeling a little bit delicate today. Marcus is not feeling it, are you? I feel fine. Well. Okay, so catch up with you again later. I know this is really weird, but I really want to show you this gorgeous bathroom in the hotel. How cute is this? Love it. Yeah. Just wanted to show you. This is what I'm wearing today. I've got my little stripes on and my little cord skirt. Cute. And I've got a nice bold lip going on. So yeah, we're about to go to the uh, Adventure Safari Park and then I'll show you when we get there. See you soon. So we're in. There's more. There's more. What's that? Asian wild dogs. Oh, there's loads of them. Oh my god. It's so amazing. They're all sort of out in the wild. So they're encouraged to just roam free and they're not in. Oh. This is so amazing already. I absolutely love it. Can you see they're eating like really furry? Oh, he's just rubbing himself all in it. Just like dogs do. Look. Maybe that one might be female or male. He's rubbing yeah. himself all in the food. Look, he's eating something with feathers. Bird. Oh, it's cr crunching. There's Coco. This is exactly how big he is. Oh my god. So cool. These are some brown sort of monkey type things. Not sure what they are, but they're very cute. And there's a baby one that keeps playing. And we'll keep going. And then the dogs were having a little bit of a fight over there. I don't know if there's anything in this enclosure. Look, look, can you see the baby? It's so tiny. And then we've got some funny ones over here. Wow, look at that bumblebee. That was so huge. Oh, so these are the black and white colobus, but they're brown ones as well. Oh my God. Holy heck. Did you see that? They flew! They're flying! They're really lovely. Oh. <laughs> they jump about! Those brown ones are baboons. Look at this tiger. Look at him. Oh my god. This is so amazing. Hi. Look at the little baby one. Really <laughs> weird noises. Oh. oh. Oh my god. That's so cute. Rarest dwarf in the world. And the one inside the hut. And one just coming around. Oh. Bird. Birds don't get a taller. No, they're just in all of the. I it... think birds know what, what their predators are, though, don't they? Mm. Mm. Oh, are you tired? I think you're sleepy. You oh, this is Delhi. Oh, hi, baby. She's been 20 years old. 20? Oh my gosh. Wow, this is so cool. Big cat. Big, big cat. You okay, baby? Yep. Stunning. I feel so lucky. That is a big tiger. Really pretty. They are bones that he is eating. Yeah, maybe it's teeth, I don't even care. 
Can you guys see this? This is so incredible. I mean, the crying baby is not so incredible. He's sn sniffing around, he wants dinner as well. They're all hungry for their breakfast. We found the lions. He's playing football. This is so cool. We found the fishing cat. Webbed feet. Webbed feet and non retractable claws that act as fishing hooks. And it's a very efficient hunter, but there are not very many of them left in the wild. Hello, gorillas. We've seen quite a lot of other things that I haven't recorded just because I feel like there's going to be so much footage of animals, but. This is honest to God, the most incredible experience. And for literally 18 pounds, we've seen the most, some of the most endangered species in the world. It's amazing, you have to come here. Say hello to the bisons. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. Oh, they're sitting together. Snow leopards. Hello. Well, we've just got back from a very cool day at the safari, and safari, it's not even a safari, it's a wildlife zoo place thing. It was so cool. We've done our 10,000 steps for the day. And we've come back to the hotel and on the way back, our engine morning light came on. So we're now at the hotel. We need to go and get food because we're both hungry. And Marcus wants to have a Guinness because it's St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day to everyone who celebrates it. And um, I hope you're all having lovely pints of Guinness. We're just gonna try and risk it and do the 170 miles home and hope that we don't break down. We're gonna to go to the fish and chip shop down the pier place and it's called the Smokehouse and it's run by one of Gordon Ramsay's former head chefs. So hopefully it will be mega popping off at triple cook chips and swirly sausage. Ciao for now, bye. Yeah, that sounds good, doesn't it? We are finally home. It took, there's Feeny. We rushed back because we were gonna spend some time there today, but we decided not to, didn't we, Bubba? Because Mrs. we miss Feen Bean. We wanted to come home for the kitty cat. And then we got stuck in traffic for an hour and a half. And yeah, that was exhausting. So I'm so pleased to be back. And we had the best weekend, did so much fun stuff. Um, loved the south of England and would definitely go back. So it was a big thumbs up from us, big thumbs up from you. Yes, very good. Very good. And now he's gonna play on the Xbox and I'm gonna edit this vlog and put it up on the tube. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. And if you didn't, then that's fine too. Don't bother, don't care. Bye. Bye. Bye.